Big Chaos, we're about to get started in just a minute. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, Cawthorn Cards community. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Um, just doing a couple of finishing touches on the stream. And then we'll get started. How's everybody doing tonight? Let me know what's going on in your lives in the chat. And uh, we'll get started shortly. I already have an order in from Jeremy. So Jeremy, if you're here, please let me know. If not, we'll uh, wait a bit to see if you're able to show up. I know sometimes you have to catch the replay. If we do end up doing the replay, I'll just roll the dice for you like normal. Hope everyone's having a good night. Chaos uh, happened to pull a very sweet card. Foil Japanese alternate art time warp. It was not uh, on the stream. He pulled it himself at his place, but uh, still pretty awesome win. Thought I'd share that with everybody. We had a good time on the stream last week. Always uh, looking to have a good time again tonight. Does not look like Jeremy's here yet, so we'll give him some time to show up. If you're watching over on YouTube, if you click that thumbs up button, it would really help me out. Um, other than that, I guess we can get started with some card sorting. Let me grab some cards and we'll get started. Have some uh, Zendikar Rising to sort through tonight, so I figured get that out of the way. Actually, Chaos, um, if you're here, we can sort through your cards real quick while uh, we don't have any current orders coming in, and then if any orders come in, we can pause and then get back to it. Let me know if you're here, and we can uh, take care of that. You are here. Sweet. Let me grab your stuff. We'll just do that then. You should have reminded me. So for anybody who's lurking that is new, you can purchase packs. Head to CoffinCards.com, fill out the form. Shipping is $1 for up to um, six cards in a plain white envelope. That's at your risk with no tracking. Um, shipping is $5 for hits. That's for Smithics, foils, and anything worth over a dollar. 
Uh, $9 for all cards. You can combine shipping on uh, multiple orders. Here's uh, Chaos's Allosaur Shepherd from something. Just a stream a couple weeks ago where he uh, pulled this one. And then um, if you want to combine shipping across multiple streams, not a problem at all. I'll hold your cards for you. I do ship out on Saturdays if anybody's interested in getting things shipped um, as soon as possible. It's normally on Saturday, uh, but it just depends on the week. Sometimes I get to driving by the post office midweek and happy to take care of that. So, Chaos, um, these are all your cards. I know you can't see them all. I guess I'm as zoomed out as I get. Let me see if I can raise this up a little bit. These are all your cards. <laughs> we know you obviously want the Allosaur Shepherd. Let's see what else we have here, though. Gonna sort through these real quick. Have a Goblins with Muxus. And I'm just getting these figured out so I can see them. Um, and then we'll go back through and figure out what you want. Chaos has opened quite a bit of uh, Jumpstart with us. It's been... Uh, Fun when he hits the good stuff, and not so fun when uh, the good stuff evades us, as it does sometimes. Um, the M21 stuff, do you want anything other than just the rares in the um, Garrick's... Um, Uprising, I think, is an uncommon that's worth more than a dollar. I'll pull out the showcase lands, too. There's an M1. And a foil. Okay, so let me just make sure I didn't miss anything here. Do you want the uh, Basri Ket emblem? <laughs> if there are any uncommons you want, let me know. I'll pull those out as well. Basri Ket. Got the Fairy's Tutelage Showcase. Showcase Land. but not the one we wanted.
The witch from Jumpstart is so expensive. What, witch of the moors? Or are you talking about a different witch? We'll go through what you pulled in Jumpstart in a minute. I'm just getting all the decks sorted out so we can pull the rares out and look at them. Hey, look! Elves. You got the Crater Hoof, too. I forgot about that one. Take a look, Chaos. Go through all your poles. Remember, we got your Luca. Um. Strict saving, do you want any of the non archive commons and uncommons or tokens? You, uh, you definitely contribute, and I appreciate you supporting the stream, that's for sure. I know you've probably opened at least a couple boxes to jumpstart with us. And it paid off, you got your Allosaurus Shepherd. Dragon's Approach, if you got any, I will check. I don't think you did, but I will check. Check real quick. You did not. We're gonna have a lot of jump start to go through chaos. This was the elves where you got the Alsor Shepherd, so I don't think there's anything left in this one. There isn't, but we'll still add it to the list we go through. Hope everybody's having a good night. If anybody wants to purchase some packs, more than happy to get those taken care of for you. Just fill out the form on coffincards.com, and we'll go from there. Jeremy has ordered some packs. We'll, uh... Get to those as soon as he shows up and if he's not able to make it tonight we'll go ahead and uh roll the dice for him i know that is what he would prefer and i'm sure he would like to catch it on the replay hey look in the meal you got okay so strict saving i think oh there's some other stuff here too oh and so here's m21 in strict haven um We're gonna go through these and let me know what you want. So here's the Strixhaven stuff. What do you want out of this? We have um, two extended art rares. You have Lilia in Exponential Growth. You have a foil regular rare double major. I assume you want all the rares. And then I think this is Snakes Can Veil, Harmonize. Someone common and Luca. I assume you want all this because these are the mystical archives and then obviously a mythic Luca foil full art. So I'm sure you want all that stuff. Let me know if you do not want any of the stuff I showed you from Strixhaven. Any rare mythics and mystical archives I would like unless I need it. Okay. Well, we'll put all the stuff that you want for you in a pile and then we'll figure out what I need later and we can talk about trades. So let me get all this stuff set aside for you. Do you want
Okay, so these are your non-rares from um, M21 that you might want. There's Basri Ket Emblem, Foil Swift Response, Showcase Mountains, Fairy's Tutelage, Foil Lenor Visionary, and Showcase Forest. Do you want any of the M21 stuff I'm showing right now? This does not include any of the rares. You need tutelage, okay. Do you want anything else from that? I'm happy to send it to you because it's just another card in a box, but if you don't want any of this stuff, I'll just throw it in the donate pile. Hello, Waffle Fries. Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing tonight? No, you're good. So all that will go in the donate pile. Okay, here are the rares from M21. I'm not sure if you just want all these, let me know. I'll throw them all in your pile. If you don't want some of these, that's fine. So we have um, Transmorgify, Pursued Whale, Basri Ket, Mythic, Oil Garruk's Harbinger, Maze Mine Tome, uh, Foil Chandra's Piling Uncommon, I'm gonna assume you don't want that. Primal Might, Containment Priest, Ruined Halo, Garruk's Harbinger Showcase, Sublime Epiphany, and Azusa. If you just want one or two of those, let me know. I'll pull them out. If you want all of them, not a problem. I'll throw them all in your pile. Let me know. Not too bad. Happy to be here. Happy to have you here, Waffle Fries. How's uh, how's things going at the bookstore? Hopefully you're at home and not working tonight, but sometimes things happen. It's like Waffle Fries has ordered some Jumpstart. You'll take them all? Perfect. Waffle fries, you gonna be around for a little bit? Do you mind if I go through these with chaos real quick? Or um, do you want me to hop straight to your packs? Got a promotion at work, congratulations, that is amazing. Big congrats to you. Just do his, okay, I'll do his real quick. Well, we'll take our time, but. Chaos says he'll be sticking around, so we'll take care of um, you real quick. Waffle fries for jumpstart. I assume you want me to uh, roll the dice on these. Let me know. There are six packs left in this box. I do have another box available as well. So if anybody's interested in that, I guess I should probably add that to the inventory so people know. Roll it. Sounds good. Odds from the left, evens from the right. Let's see what we get. A3, odds from the left, four packs. Got two lonely packs. Chaos says congratulations on the promotion, Waffle Fries. Is it a local bookstore or a big chain? Let's uh, hope these are some good luck packs. And just for good luck, since we are opening Jumpstart, Chaos opened this up earlier, Allosaurus Shepherd. We'll put it in frame, so hopefully uh, some good luck rubs off on these packs for you. If you pull Oracle or Ristic, Chaos will trade for it. Uh, waffle fries, just so you know. Nova Surfer says pack sales, indeed. Just uh, sold four packs of Jumpstart to Waffle Fries over on YouTube. Nova just got some Jumpstart, hopefully you got something good. Waffle says, thanks so much, Chaos, little local bookstore, Barnes and Noble. Yeah, that's not so local, but uh, congratulations. You have Above the Clouds. Let me get a slip for you so we make sure we keep your stuff separate from Chaos's. Are they going to make you transfer or do you get to stay at your store? Fly high to start, that's a great way to look at it. We have Inez, the Gale Force, Reign of Revelation, Unsubstantiate, Towerin's Invocation, Tide Skimmer, Keen Glidemaster, Capture Sphere, Roaming Ghostlight, Frost Breath, Mistral Singer, Wall of Runes, Thriving Isle, Lofty Denial, and the very cool Above the Clouds Island. I'll ship that, but I will not ship the six basic lands since that's what you had mentioned before. So, didn't it open yet. Gonna open on Wizard Stream. Very cool. Jumpstart is fun, that's for sure. I'm 
get to our next pack for waffle fries. We have a Doggos pack. This is a very cool pack. It's got one of the coolest uh, Plains artworks in it. I really like this one. I don't think I actually have any myself. I'll have to check my spreadsheet. So you get Pack Leader with Selfless Savior, Afa Guardhound, Release the Dogs. That's a Jumpstart specific uncommon, so that one's a little sought after. Supply Runners, Secure the Scene, Feet of Resistance, Alpine Watchdog, Cathar's Companion, Rambunctious Mutt, Trusty Retriever, Pacifism, Rhyming Heath, and then the very, very cool Jumpstart Dog Planes right there. How cool is that? You don't see dogs in Magic Art all the time. So I'll keep the M21 basics, nothing fancy going on there. Well, Fry says, same deal, love that island. Good to hear it. Rearrange some other stacks real quick. Doggies. How are you doing tonight, Nova? Thanks for stopping by. Pack number three, we have spell casting. This one has Charmbreaker Devils. It's kind of cool. Dual Caster Mage, so you got a double rare pack here. Living Lightning, Chandra's Pyreling, Kinetic Augur, Artfire Emulator, Shock, Thrill Possibility, Dragon Fodder, Hungry Flames, Lightning Visionary, Thermo Alchemist, Thriving Bluff, a very cool Jumpstart Mountain right there. Looks like it's falling apart. And then uh, your M21 Mountains, which go in the donate pile. Got one more pack for uh, Waffle Fries tonight. Celebrating his promotion, so very exciting. Congratulations on that. As I mentioned, hopefully that does not involve a move for you, unless you want it to involve a move. Hello, Peddler. We are opening for Waffle Fries. We're also sorting through Chaos's cards, see what he wants me to put in the bulk pile for donations and uh, what he's interested in me sending or potentially trading for. That is a shepherd from um, Chaos's stuff that he opened earlier. So we have Pirates. This has a really cool island too. We have Corsair Captain, Charter Course, Coastal Piracy, Departed Deckhand, Spectral Sailor, Kite Sail Corsair, Pirates Cutlass, Prosperous Pirates, Rashadan Airship, Sailor of Means, Thriving Isle, Voyages End, Water Knot, and that very, very cool uh, Pirate Island. Live within walking distance of work, so I'm not leaving. I don't blame you one bit. And then our other islands. So uh, hopefully you're happy with those polls, Waffle Fries. Thank you very much for supporting the stream as always, and congratulations again on that promotion. Hope you uh, take some time to celebrate. So that is some awesome news, bud. Congratulations. Um, going back through Chaos. Chaos, are you still here? Ice Prophet says, nice self. Thank you. Uh, Chaos opened this one up couple weeks ago on stream we're going through his old stuff and seeing what he wants shipped to him and what he wants to keep um so you have a dogs here i figure you probably want the rare and the jumpstart land in most of these um not sure if you want anything else in this i think release the dogs might be worth a dollar it probably has come down to where it's not anymore but i can include that if you want or if chaos isn't here, we'll put this on pause. We'll wait to see. Super happy getting some good variety. Drinking appropriate beer to celebrate. Sounds good, bud. Let's see if uh, chaos makes a peep, or if we're gonna go back to sorting Zendikar Rising. Also, if anybody else is interested in uh, picking up some packs, head over to CosmicCards.com, fill out the form, and then send payment. All the information I need is on the form, so please don't leave any notes on the payment. 
Um, I guess I can get your account flagged or something. Makes no sense to me, but it happens. So just uh, ship everything except for basic lands. Sounds good. Um, do you want me to actually ship or you want me to just put it in your pile? Because I can ship if you'd like this weekend or I can hold it and help you save on shipping. Not hearing anything from Chaos, so we'll put Chaos's stuff on hold till he gets back. Hold on to him for now, gonna fill that box, sounds good. Try to find a way to get all these organized for Chaos real quick. How's everybody's week going? Did anybody see some of the spoilers that had started coming out? I'd heard that Modern Horizons 2 and D&D was getting some spoilers already, so that's pretty cool. Heard Cabal Coffers is being reprinted as Mythic, so from Uncommon to Mythic, that's a big jump, but uh, they're probably trying to protect the value of that card more than anything. And now that it's played in Commander, obviously, it's got a little more... Um, usefulness than probably when it did back in Torment in Standard. Uh, Peddler says, open up a pack of Jumpstart for Waffles on Peddler. That sounds great. I'll get to that in just a minute. For what set? Um, Cabal Coffers is going to be in Modern Horizons 2 at Mythic. And that's coming out in June. Um, there were also some D&D &D spoilers. I'm not a big D&D &D person, but I think it was some of the main characters um, from Forgotten Realms, if I remember correctly. Um, so that's cool for D&D &D fans. Peddler says PayPal sent. Appreciate it, bud. Waffle Fries, you still hanging out, bud? Peddler bought you a pack. Peddler, you are too kind. Thanks, amigo, says Waffle Fries. Peddler is a very generous man. I'm sure you have already Waffle Fries, but if you haven't, you should probably go check out MTG Peddler's uh, YouTube channel. It's a pretty fun one. going to be amazing. I hope it's going to be expensive. Hello, Extreme Beer Metal. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're having a good night. Peddler just purchased a pack for uh, for waffle fries. Get that off the inventory real quick. Then we'll open it up. I assume you want to roll the dice again. Um, waffle fries. Couple dollars an hour is absolutely huge for me. Thank you again, Peddler. Yeah, it is. Couple dollars is a big deal. Couple dollars is like multiple thousands of dollars a year. So that's pretty awesome. Peddler's choice. Peddler, one or two, left or right. Or roll the dice. Peddler might have learned to roll the dice after uh, last week. Anything good? Uh, we got a Pirates pack, we got a Spellcasting pack, we got a Above the Clouds pack, and we got a Spellcasting pack. Did I already say Spellcasting? Pirates, Spellcasting, Dogs, Dogs. We got a Dogs pack, which is very cool, because Dogs looks awesome. Left is best. We'll go with Left. 
Doggy Land. Yeah, says Peddler, you better do it right this time. Let's see what we got. Heavily armored. This has a really, really cool planes. Hello, Emily. Thanks for stopping by. So, heavily armored. We have Duelist Heritage. I don't think I've seen this variant. Uh, two and a white. Whenever one or more creatures attack, you may have target attacking creature gain double strike until end of turn. That's pretty cool. High Sentinels of Arishin. Definitely haven't seen this version before. Three and a white for a 3 4 flyer. High Sentinels of Arishin gets plus one plus one for each other creature control with a 1 1 counter on it. Pay three and a white to put a 1 1 counter on a target creature. That is pretty cool. Tempered Veteran. Long Road Home. Siege Striker. Supply Runners. Swift Response. Bulwark Giant. Trusty Retriever. Lightwalker. Makeshift Battalion. Thriving Heath. Basri's Acolyte. And the very cool planes. It's a shield. Don't want to think about how it got on the ground like that, but it's very cool planes nonetheless. Add those to your pile. Uh, waffle fries. Thank you, Peddler, for your generosity in supporting the stream and getting uh, Waffle Fries a little promotion present. Making a playset for actual play. Variety is my goal. Thank you, Peddler. Hey, that's perfect. If you need variety, you didn't get any, you didn't get two of any of the same packs tonight. I don't remember exactly what you opened last time, but uh, I know you didn't get any two of the same tonight, so that is good. Peddler says, of course, bud. Emily says, hello, Peddler. Um... Still waiting for Jeremy to drop by if he's available. If not, we'll open up his stuff toward the end of the stream. Um, gonna go ahead and sort through some Zendikar Rise and Chaos. We'll get off stream about the rest of those Jumpstart cards. I just put them away and then uh, we'll take a look at what you have. But we went through basically what packs you have so you have an idea of what's in there. Peddler has been investing in a new cryptocurrency, and uh, if he becomes a crypto millionaire, you guys might want to come hang out and stream more often. Not that you don't come often, but, um, you know, you might be feeling a little extra generous. So I got two box toppers, and I got two spire gardens. What are the chances of that? It's not the worst one, so I'm okay with that. But uh, at the same time, I was hoping for some variety. There are 30 and the three, I've opened three total box toppers. I got a Wooded Foothills, which is amazing. Um, but my other two were duplicates. So Archpriest of Iona is new for me. So that's good. Surprisingly, didn't have the Canyon Jeroba. Um, next up, looking for Amiri's Call or Feldar Retreat. Don't have either one of those. Also looking for Ondu Inversion. Don't think I have that in here either, unfortunately. I do not. Sajiri Shelter in Charix. Don't have either of those. Coralheim Chronicler. Nope. Glass Pool Mimic, Jace, and Master of Winds. Description of Insight. I already have that one, unfortunately. I did get a Jace, though, so that's good. Already mixed my piles up, guys. Uh, fingers crossed for an explosion, Peddler. Should be writing these down. I think I have most of what you need. Well, 
Um, I'll eventually probably post the list if anybody has some stuff. Maybe we could do some trades or whatnot. Master of Winds got that one. That's good. Merfolk Wind Robber. Don't have that. Seagate Restoration and Stormcaller. Nimble Trap Finder is a duplicate. Didn't get any Seagates, unfortunately. Salundi Vision. Did grab that one, so that's good. Um, Thieving Skydiver. I have foil, but I don't have regular version. Agadim's Awakening. I know I did not pull that. Chaos needs a Spire Garden. Well, we can probably throw that in the trade, Chaos. Just remind me if you want to write that down. Coveted Prize is a duplicate. Don't have a Drana, I do not believe. I don't. Inscription of Ruin. Nope. No Priest of Oblivion. I know I have that on Arena. Actually, I have most of this set on Arena, to be honest with you. Shadows Verdict and Skyclave Shade. Don't have either of those. I do need Tabrix, Booster Packs, Demise, if you guys watched that video. Not valuable, but helps me complete my set. After that, we need a Leyline Tyrant. No, I don't have that one. Do you have a Foil Cargan Intimidator? <laughs> Ironically, I already have a foil card in Intimidator. Also need a Morag. Already have the Magmatic Chandler. Molten Blast. Do I need Nahiri's Lith Forming? Nope. Need Relic Robber. Didn't pull that one. Also need Skyclave Geopede. Already have a Roiling Vortex. That stinks. Uh, Peddler will keep you posted. Don't have the Sky Clay GOP, go figure. I know I have a million of the um, synchronized spellcraft. Foil is new. I know I have a million of the showcase Sky Clay GPs. I just don't have any regular ones. Need a Thundering Rebuke. Don't have that. Need Ancient Green Warden and a Shia. Both of those are mythics, I believe, so I don't have those. Um, Inscription of Abundance or Iridescent Horn Beetle. Don't have either of those. Kazandu Stomper. A common. Wow, I didn't have a common after opening a whole box. That's kind of crazy. Um, Lotus Cobra, Marasa Sproutling. Don't have either of those, unfortunately. Skyclave Pickaxe. Don't have that. Brushfire Elemental and Grackmaw. Don't have... Brushfire, Kazaa, already have that. Moss Pit, don't need that. Ravager's Mace Foil. That is new. I'm gonna start Strict Saving Collection, but at least the cards have gone down in value, so that helps. It does help. I'm not sure if it still holds true, but I've heard that. At least in the past, after rotation seems to be the best time to pick up a lot of cards. Little Mage Familiar was new. Don't know how I skipped over that one. Marasa Root Grazer, Nahiri, Bylath. Don't have those. Um, Yasharn, Sakura, Serith. Don't have either of those. Cliff, Haven, Kite Sail. Weird. Um, Lith Form Engine, Myriad Construct, didn't grab any of those. Skyclave Relic, don't have that. River Glide Pathway, that is a new one. Pretty sure I have all the basics. Don't have all the foils though, so let's see if this foil swamp number 270 something is new. 273. Don't have that foil swamp yet. Then we get to our showcases, number 293, McKinney Ox, already have that. 297, have that. 
Skyclave Geopede, I already have that, like I said. 302, I already have that as well. 304, have that. 311, Foil, Brushfire Elemental, that is a new one. Goblin Construct Token, don't know if I have that one actually. I do. Um, not Japanese art, so some of those are too expensive. Yeah, those are very expensive, Emily. That is for sure. So, got all my Zendikar Rising duplicates. Didn't need to go back through, make sure I checked all these off, because I know I didn't check all of them off, unfortunately. Should have done that when we were going through, but it only takes a second. Extreme Beer Metal. Should have said something in chat, bud. Didn't see that you had ordered some packs. Let's get those uh, sent your way. Have three Ikoria, three Theros Beyond Death. Combining shipping from last time with all the cards. Let's get to those. Um, you like the middle packs, right? Sorting is just something I do when there's nothing going on. Middle packs always. So let's see how many packs are left in here. You got three of each. So Throne, there's 26. Ikoria, there's 17 left. So let's go for somewhere between 5 and 15. Um, first, we're going to roll to see if we do left or right. Odds will be left. Evens will be right. We'll start with Ikoria. So even 16 from the right, we need between a getting three packs. So we're going to say we need between uh, seven and 13, and that's how many packs we will go in from the right. Two, that's not good enough. 14, I think I said seven and 13. 12, okay, so 12 packs from the right, and then we'll grab your three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, and then we'll grab your three packs from there in the middle. Same deal with Theros. Roll from the left and right. There's a lot more in here, so we'll go between five and 15. But first we're doing left or right, odds are left, evens are right. Evens, so from the right, between five and 15, seven, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there are your three packs right there. Extreme Beer Metals combining shipping for all the cards. I'll hold on to all your stuff until you tell me to ship, since we're uh, saving you some money there. Let's see if you can pull some fire again. Did great last week when we uh, brought the stream back for a short encore. Starting off this one with a Stern Dismissal, Final Flare, Glory Bearers, Ichthyomorphosis, finally figured out how to say that, Nylea's Forerunner, Soul Reaper of Mogus, Brine Giant, Irreverent Revelers, Blech. Final Death, Fruit of Tizarus, we're getting into our Uncommons, Agonizing Remorse, Nessie and Horn Beetle, Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, all very playable, and you got a Temple of Deceit in this one. An island, that's the best basic land to pull. And a wolf token, I don't think I've seen that one yet, so uh, that's very cool. Mm. 
Next up, let's uh, shuffle things up a little bit. Let's go to an Ikoria pack. See if we can pull you something good from here. Everybody's always looking for triumphs in these packs, but there's lots of other good stuff you can get in Ikoria too. Phase Dolphin, Pyroceratops, Blade Banish, Capture Sphere, Cavern Whisperer, Humble Naturalist, Mutual Destruction, Fully Grown, Fire Prophecy, Savage Sabertooth, Weaponize the Monsters, your first uncommon, Necropanther is your second, Zagoth Crystal followed up by a Mythos of Snapdax. That's a interesting one for sure. All the Mythoses are kind of interesting cards. You got a island with some pretty cool artwork right there and a punch card for all your token needs. Headed back to Theros for Extreme Beer Metal. Let's see what we pull this time. Don't know how to say this one. I say Ny Nyad. Nyad of the Hidden Coves. Underworld Rage Hound. Heliod's Pilgrim. Elite Instructor. Nyxborn Colossus. Soul Reaper of Mogus. Omen of the Hunt. Scavenging Harpy. Brine Giant. Fruit of Tizarus. Owl Seed of Life's Bounty. That's very playable and common. Play it in my white deck all the time. Siona, Captain of the Pileas. Underworld Fires. Our rare is Mythic Ox of Agonis. That's a good one. Got another island. Pulling all the islands out of this box. And a Reflection Token. Very cool. Congratulations on the Mythic. You got another Ikoria Island for your collection. Get that Ox on the sleeve for you. I think that one might be pushing 10 bucks. If I remember correctly. I think it's actually played more in uh, historic on Arena than standard. Back to Ikoria. Two more packs after this one. One Theros, one Ikoria left. Got a Phase Dolphin starting this off again. I feel like a lot of packs start with Phase Dolphin. Power Ceratops, Blade Banish, Humble Naturalist. Mutual Destruction, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Charm, Fly, Catcher Giraffid, Pacifism, Blister Split Gremlin, Footfall Craters, your first uncommon, Skull Prophet, Grim Dancer, Luminous Broodmoth Mythic, man, you're hitting all the good stuff tonight, Swift Water Cliffs, and a Human Soldier Token. Get that one in the sleeve too. Love playing with Luminous Broodmoth. Um, in fun decks, 2 and 2 white for 3-4 flyer whenever a creature you control without flying dies, returning to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it. Two mythics out of six packs. That's uh, some pretty good luck if I say so myself. Back to Theros for the last time tonight for Extreme Beer Metal. Let's see what we pull. Sleep of the Dead, Aspect of Manticore, Omen of the Sun, Deny the Divine, Skola Grove Dancer, Altar of the Pantheon, Nylea's Huntmaster, Fruit of Tizarus, Captivating Unicorn, Mischievous Chimera, for your first uncommon. Uh, Archon of Falling Stars, Binding of the Titans, Temple of Malice, so you've picked up a couple of temples, those are pretty useful. Hateful Eidolon, that's a very played card, so having a foil, that's pretty cool. Got a planes this time and a human soldier token. So no island in this pack, but uh, with two mythics, I don't think you can complain that much. Chaos is Mothra. That is Mothra if you get the Godzilla version. Starting this uh, Ikori pack off with a Lava Serpent, Main Serval, Bristling Boar, Unlikely Aid, Essence Scatter, Night Squad Commando, Plummet, Dranith Healer, Breaking Claws, Hampering Snare, Momentum Rumbler, Boon of the Wish Giver, Barrier Breach, another Mythos of Snap Decks. Well, when you get a Mythic uh, Luminous Breed Moth, I guess getting two of the same rare is not quite as bad. I have a Swamp and a Kraken Token. That is super cool. I think that's one of the harder tokens to get, so uh, congratulations on pulling that one. Hope you're happy with your packs tonight, Stream Beer Metal. We'll write up a slip for you and put your stack aside. Get that in with the rest of your cards and uh, 
keep them safe and sound until you're ready for me to ship them out. Appreciate you supporting the stream as always. Uh, really means a lot that you purchased your packs through me here. And I uh, hope you had fun watching those be open. Very nice polls. Very happy. I would hope so. Those were some pretty amazing polls for sure. So congratulations on those. I just checked. There are no other orders in yet unless Jeremy shows up. So we're going to get back to the Zendikar Rising checklist real quick. Get these sleeved up that aren't sleeved and make sure I checked everything off. Um, Extreme Beer Metal got my other cards yesterday. All perfect condition. Great to hear. Um, I don't remember if I sent your other ones in a bubble mailer or a box. I'm trying to get some bigger bubble mailers so that I don't have to ship stuff in big boxes so I can keep shipping costs down. Because when I have to ship in a box, it's normally a little heavier than shipping in a bubble mailer. Plus, the bubble mailers normally keep your cards a little safer because there's not as much uh, room to shake around as well. So, let me find my pen and we'll get back to it. I already marked off the Spire Garden. I know that. Archpriest of Fiona I marked off. Kane and Jeroban needs a sleeve, but I did not mark it off. Um, for anybody who did purchase cards through me, um, I do have a reference uh, thread on Facebook. Um, at some point, if I ask you to leave a plus one on that comment thread, really would appreciate it. I just try to collect that for anybody who hasn't um, ordered from us before so people can see that things are legitimate and people actually get their cards and are happy with the service. Um, don't want people feeling awkward about doing it. So bubble mailer, all is good. Got the Uro you pulled for me. Thank you. Glad you got that Uro. That was crazy pull for sure. Sandu Stopper, can't believe I didn't have this common. Ravager's Mace Foil, I did mark that one off. Low Mage Familiar, marked that one off as well, but it needs a sleeve. River Glide Pathway, pretty sure I marked that one off. I did. And then the Swamp, I know I did. And the Brush for Elemental, I did. So I get to add some more cards to my Zendikar Rising collection. That is always good. But that is actually all I have to sort right now. So if you guys would like to chat about anything Modern Horizons or d d or spoilers or anything else happy to do so also happy to open up packs for anybody else who is interested um if jeremy doesn't show up by 9 30 we're gonna go ahead and crack his packs for him but other than that happy to hang around and chat with y'all waffle fries celebrating his promotion tonight congratulations again to waffle fries we're uh, doing well on the YouTube channel. Appreciate everybody who's been stopping by and watching those videos. Um, last I checked, we were getting close to 600 subscribers. 579 last I looked. So that is very fun. We just hit 500. It feels like a week or so ago. So almost up another 100 is kind of crazy. Things have slowed down a little bit, but that's what happens when your viral videos are no longer viral. But hopefully we get another one soon. Um, added some new thumbnails, so hopefully uh, you guys have seen those. If you're on desktop, if you are on mobile, unfortunately the thumbnails don't show up, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, for those of you that are new to this stream, we do ship or ship. We do stream Mondays and Thursdays, 8:30 Eastern time for pack sales. Um, it's a lot of fun. We also do card sorting and everything else. Right now we do have Strixhaven in stock. We have Strixhaven collectors, Strixhaven set packs, and Strixhaven draft packs. 
Hello, Co or hello, Cawthorn. Hello, Dobby. Thanks for stopping by. Dobby said hello, Cawthorn. He actually said hi, Cawthorn. Um, we also have some Kaldheim set and collector packs and draft packs. Uh, we have another box of Jumpstart ready to be opened. One pack left in the old box. Five packs of Commander Legends left after those are uh, done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get more. Emily said, sorry, I had to do something. What did I miss? We opened a few packs for uh, Extreme Beer Metal. He pulled two Mythics. He got a... Luminous Broodmoth and Ox of Agonis, so very cool. Uh, Dobby seems to be everywhere these days. See him hanging out in Wizard 138 stream as well, so that is very cool. Over on Twitch. Uh, I might be able to get some more Commander Legends draft packs in the future, but if I do, they're probably going to be more expensive unless Wizards releases another wave. Um, other than that, I do have some Zendikar Rising Draft Packs. Should be able to keep those in stock, but I think once Ikoria, Theros, and Eldraine are gone, don't know I'm going to be able to get more. If I do, they're definitely going to be more expensive than $325 a pack, just so you guys know. Um, those three sets are technically considered out of print now, I believe, which is kind of surprising considering they're still in standard for another like four or five months, but there must be plenty of inventory out there, at least Wizards think so. Um, box prices have already started to tick up a little bit, so uh, can't get the super low prices there anymore. Dobby says he supports everyone. That is very cool, Dobby. Definitely uh, appreciate all the support, that's for sure. All you guys watching over on YouTube, if you click that thumbs up button, it would mean a lot to me. I know you all are subscribed, so thank you very much. We're getting pretty close to 9.30 here. I'm gonna start pulling out the packs for Jeremy and if he shows up, I'll let him pick. Gonna make another purchase, give you a few minutes, not a problem. Um, extreme Beer Metal. I think I'm gonna open up Jeremy's packs here for him. He can catch it on the replay. So, Jeremy ordered two Zendikar Rising Draft Packs, one Strixhaven Collector, and one Kaldheim Collector. Where'd my dice go? There it is. Okay, so uh, odds will go from the left two packs, evens will go right two packs for you, Jeremy. We have odds, so those are going to be the left two packs. Hopefully we can pull you something you're looking for. Here's the Kaldheim box. Odds will be the um, front left pack. Evens will be the back right pack. We have 18. That's even. That's the back right pack. James says, this is epic. Thanks for stopping by, James. Hope you're doing well tonight. Don't think I've seen you in the stream before. If I have, I apologize. But uh, cracking some packs, sorting some cards, hanging out and chatting, everything magic. Um, and then these are your strict saving collectors. Odds will do front left. Evens will do back right on this, Jeremy. Ten evens, that's back right. And uh, Jeremy's always said, if he can't make it live, he appreciates me opening it up and he'll catch it on the stream. So that's what we're gonna do now. Don't know why, but I decided to change my other channel. Uh, I haven't checked. Have you put out any new content lately, Emily? If you have, I'll have to go check it out. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to check out Emily's channel, Golan MTG. Start out with Zendikar Rising Packs, then we'll get to the collector boosters for Jeremy. It's our Japanese pack, so we'll have to move the um, rear to the front. Skyclave Plunder, Malakir Blood Priest, I have an Uncommon in the Back Relic Vial, Synchronized Spellcraft, Oblivion's Hunger, Dauntless Survivor, Practice Tactics, Reclaim the Waste, Disenchant, Akum Hellhound Showcase, Cleric of Chill Depths, Shepherd of Heroes, 
An illusion token, don't think I've seen that one before. A swap, and I did see a green flip card. Hopefully that is your rare or mythic. We have an ancient green word and mythic. Congratulations, that's one of the ones you definitely want to hit out of Zendikar Rising with Kalani territory on the back, or Kalani territory on the back. Um, we also have Kalani Ambush. There was another uncommon in Kalani Territory on the back. How many uncommons were there here? That's weird. Or no, it's not. I just miscounted, I guess. I don't know. You got an Ancient Green Warden, Jeremy. Congratulations. Get that sleeved up for you. Set it aside in your box. See what you get in your other Zendikar Rising pack. Peddler and Emily are both saying hello to uh, to James. Thanks for stopping by again, James. Really do appreciate it. So we have Paired Tactician. Got two uncommons in the back. Got Scion of the Swarm and Sajiri Shelter with Sajiri, Sajiri Glacier on the back. Emily's got to sign off for tonight. Have a good stream. Good night, everybody. Good night, Emily. Thanks for stopping by. Blood Price, Feed the Swarm, Seagate Colossus, Draga Visionary, Pressure Point, Tazim Royal Mage, Glacial Grasp, Living Tempest. Peter Peak Ambusher, Nahiri's Binding, Construct Token, Very Cool Island, and a Squad Commander Rare. This one actually looks like a little off-center if you see the um, stamp on the bottom. It's not exactly centered, but it's not really out of the box either, so I don't think that's really worth anything special. Next up we have, let's go with Kaldheim Collector Booster first. Save the Strixhaven Collector Booster for last. See what we can pull out of these. We have an Axe Guard Calvary, Demonic Gifts, Undersea Invader, Run Amok, Disdainful Stroke, Elven Bow, Carter Doom Scourge, Foil Snow Covered Mountain, Ruthless Winner Winnowers, a Commander Rare. Then we have Crippling Fear Extended Art, very cool. Of a foil flip card, Yorn God of Winter, Winter with Cauldring, the Rhyme Staff, on the back. Also have an Inga Rune Eyes Showcase. A Mythic Halvar God of Battle. That one is really fun to play. The flip side is Sword of the Realms. Very cool artwork on that Showcase Mythic right there. Hope you're happy with that one. Then we have a Herald King of Skemfar Foil. And then a Showcase Foil Rare, Varagoth Blood Sky Sire. Also have a Tybalt Cosmic Imposter Emblem with Elf Warrior on the back. Payment should have gone through. I will check that out, Extreme Beer Metal. Thank you very much. Dystopian World Games. Thanks for stopping by, Levi. I hope you're doing well, bud. Seeing you've had some stuff going on, so hopefully you're feeling better. Um, appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming to hang out. I do see your payment came through Extreme Beer Metal. Thank you very much for that. Had to drop in and chill love. I'm sharing this to DWO. Love you all. Thank you very much. I think I might have actually posted it in there. But thank you. Um, Magic the Gathering, Strixhaven School of Mages, 15 card collector booster for Jeremy. Jeremy, hope you hit some good stuff in here, bud. These have been a lot of fun to open. I'm going to pull up my cheat sheet real quick because I do not speak Japanese. I do know some of them, but I do not know all of them. Okay, let's get started.
There's some crazy hits in here, that's for sure. Especially when you get to those mystical archives and the alternate arts and whatnot. Starting out with the commons and uncommons, we start with Eager first year. Eureka moment, Expel, Professor's Warning, Lorehold Campus, Emergent Sequence. That is a very fun card in Limited. Mortality Sphere, another good Limited card. Our Lessons at Uncommon, Containment Breach. Got a Foil Mythic Rare, Extus Auric Overlord. On the back is the Blood Avatar. Awaken the Blood Avatar. Very cool Mythic right there. Congratulations on that hit. Then we have a Trudge Garden. That is your Commander Extended Art card. Have an Extended Art Strict Proctor. Have an uncommon person looking at the sky with a potion in her hands. Uh, that's number 72. That is Revitalize. That's the etched foil. Um, you can see the etching around the text box down there in silver. Then we have uh, English etched art, Doom Blade. Let's see where that one's at. You can uh, see the etching in these gold parts right here and then up around the top as well. Kind of hard to show it on camera, but it is there. Our last one is a foil uncommon. Actually, there might be one more after this. It just depends on the pack. Number 112. This is Adventurous Impulse. Our last card in the pack, a Mythic. Mythic's Mastery Foil. I know this one because it's just crazy. This one right here pretty much pays for the pack. Foil on TCG Player says it's $20.31. So uh, congratulations on that one. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. And then you have your Elemental Inkling token in the back. Hope you're happy with those polls, Jeremy. Uh, shoot me an email, let me know what you want, and I will add them to your pile. Sleeve up that Exodus for you, too. Thank you, as always, for supporting the stream, Jeremy. Sorry you couldn't be here live to see these, but I know you'd rather I just get them opened up. So I uh, did take care of that for you tonight. Heading back to Extreme Beer Metal, ordered some more cards. Three Ikoria, three Eldrain. Ikoria's getting kind of low, only 14 packs left. I might try to get these back in stock, but they will be more expensive. I think Eldrain is even more expensive than Ikoria. Theros is pretty hot too. The Expected value on that's pretty high from what I've seen, so especially with all those lands in there. So uh, we're gonna do the left right roll first, and then uh, in Throne, it looks like there are about 18 packs, so or there were night there should be 19 packs in here total, so we'll go between five and 15. Um, so first, odds will be left, evens will be right, evens, so from the right, and then we're looking for between five and 15. 18 doesn't count. 14 does. So 14 from the right for Throne of Eldraine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then grab three packs from the middle. Then we have Ikoria, same deal. Um, there are fewer packs in here, so we're going to go between uh, 7 and 13 again. That should be enough. Yeah. No. I guess we have to go like between 5 and 12. No. 5 and... Between 5 and 10 is what we'll do. But first we do evens or odds for left or right. 5 for odds, and then between 5 and 10, this one might take a few rolls. Nine, that works. So nine from the left. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, and eleven are your packs from the middle for Icoria. So we have our three Icoria, three Eldrain. Let's get to cracking. The Eldrain packs are Japanese, so the rares are going to be in the front. So I'll have to move those to the back for you. Hide the suspense just a little bit longer.
Japanese packs are made of something different. It's just a little bit more difficult to open. Thankfully, there are no flip cards in either of these sets, so it's much easier to do the card trick without worrying about giving away what's in the pack. Starting out with Red Cap Melee, Mystical Dispute, our last one comments in the back, Order of Midnight, Dwarven Mine, Reeve Soul, Return to Nature, Blood Haze Wolverine, Out Muscle, Weaselback Red Cap, Bartered Cow, Ginger Brute, So Tiny, Prized Griffin, Night Token, very cool swamp and stone coil serpent very playable rare so congratulations on that add these to your other piles as soon as we're done opening these up all right cory is up next back to the american made packs with the rares in the back where they should be solid footing frost veil ambush spell Eaver wolverine sudden spinnerets dead weight memory leak greater sandworm spring jaw trap Rumbling Rock Slide, Convolute, Trumpeting Nars, our first uncommon, and it's a showcase. Huntmaster Liger, Polywog Symbiote, Dranith Magistrate is your rare with a Blossoming Sands Land, and another punch card for all your counter needs. I actually put that Dranith Magistrate in the sideboard of my white deck, worked out pretty well for me when I got to play it and it stayed on the field. Keeps those uh, adventure cards from being played the second time because you can only cast things from your hand, not from exile. So that's pretty cool. This is a throne pack, so we're going to need to move the front to the back. Always move an extra card in case there's a foil, otherwise, you'll spoil the rare. Fairy Vandal, Sir Kara the Bold. Our last one is in the back Edgewall Innkeeper. That's his ton of play in Teamer Adventure. Uh, Smitten Swordmaster. Arden Vale Tactician, Malevolent Noble, Signpost Scarecrow, Merchant of the Vale, Garen Brig Paladin, Witch's Cottage, Wildwood Tracker, Mantle of Tides, Lonesome Unicorn, On an Adventure Token. Very cool artwork for an island. Looks more like a lake than an island, but we'll go with it. And Mirror Maid Rare. Headed back to Ikoria, the Lair of Behemoths. Starting this pack out with the Capture Sphere, Drain of Stinger, great in that cycling deck, Snare Tactician, Of One Mind, Let's sees a lot of playing rogues, Fully Grown, Durable Coil Bug, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, Crustacean, Fire Prophecy, that sees a lot of play too. Fight as one, that's your first uncommon. Pouncing Shore Shark, Unbreakable Bond, Death's Oasis Rare. Also have a cool Plains token, Plains token, Plains, and a Cat token. A little cuddly, a little horn in there. Show you a Triome? No, that was not a Triome, unfortunately. We do have another Ikori pack to try though. We'll see if we can get there. But first, we have Throne of Eldraine. Triomes are what everybody wants. I don't blame you. I would love some more Triomes. I opened a whole box and I only got like two or three. Order of Midnight. Deathless Knight. Tournament Grounds. That means we do have a foil in this pack if I counted right. Reef Soul. Dwarven Mine. Fell the Pheasant. Ogre Errant. Jousting Dummy. Wolf's Quarry, Witching Well, Silver Flame Squire, Memory Theft, Add Card, Boo, Mountain, Foil Overwhelmed Apprentice, her eyes light up. That is super cool. Let's see if I can show you guys. See how her eyes light up? It looks super spooky. You'll like that one. And a Worthy Knight. Whenever you cast a Knight spell, create a woman white human knight creature token. Or white human creature token, not a knight, just a human. One white for a 2-2. Two -two. Not bad. Back to that last pack by Cory, trying to get that Triome. Starting out with a tentative connection. 
Looks like we do have a true ad card in the back. That's a bit of a bummer. Solid footing, Frostvale ambush, bristling boar, lurking deadeye, patagia tiger, heightened reflexes, sleeper dart, convolute, essence symbiote, migration path, lore dracus, ketria crystal, general kudro of draneth. Haven't seen this one myself. One white and a black for a 3 3. Human soldier legendary. It's a mythic, by the way. Other humans you control get plus one plus one. Whenever it or another human enters the battlefield under your control, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Pay two and sacrifice two humans. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Very cool. So you got three mythics out of 12 packs. I would say that is pretty awesome. So uh, congratulations on that. Never seen that one yourself either. Yeah, I haven't. Um, so that's pretty cool. It looks like it is part of the main set. So I guess I've just never seen it played, but it seems like it might be fun in Commander. Went ahead and added those to your pile, Extreme Beer Metal. Thank you for supporting the stream again tonight. Definitely appreciate it. Hope you're happy with all those polls. I think you got some good ones in there, so hopefully uh, you have some fun with those. Well, guys, I'm out of cards to sort. So unless there's somebody else who wants to purchase some packs tonight, I think we're going to shut it down. Awesome polls. Very happy. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too, Extreme Beer Metal. Appreciate you hanging out. We do stream on Mondays and Thursdays at 830 Eastern Time. So make sure you stop on by if you're interested in just hanging out, talking about magic or cracking some packs. Um, I have pre-ordered some Modern Horizons 2. It's going to be a little bit... Okay, it's going to be not cheap it's pretty expensive to be honest with you um but i think i'm going to do this in a unique way rather than opening it live i'm going to open them up on youtube shorts for you all so if anybody wants some modern horizons too email me at cawthoncards at gmail.com i have very limited quantities i was able to pre-order one collector box one set box and one bundle and that's it so far um, so if you guys are interested in that stuff, email me at coffincards at gmail.com and we can talk about it. I am going to shoot the videos for YouTube shorts since I'm not opening any of them for myself. Uh, that way I can get some content out of it too. And you guys can see your videos on the main channel. Thought that would be a fun way to do it. Um, but yeah, if you guys ever have any questions or want to sponsor stuff outside of the stream, happy to shoot a video for you and upload it to YouTube. So email me at coffincards at gmail.com. Appreciate everybody hanging out with me tonight. And uh, am I able to get Ikoria Collector Packs? Um, I haven't seen... The place I normally get cards from um, doesn't have them for sale anymore. I know that they're not like super easy to find. But let me just look at... Because buying individual packs is probably going to be pretty expensive. Um, if you want to get a whole box, I could get you a better deal. Um, just ballpark, it looks like a collector pack would probably be in the range of like $25 to $27. Um... And it actually, depending on, I'm going to have to look and see where I can get them from. Because I was just looking at one place real quick. And I really need to make sure they come from a legitimate place. Um, I could definitely get a better deal on a box than I could on individual packs. But uh, they wouldn't be cheap. That's, that's all I know. So I don't know how much you're looking to open Extreme Beer Metal. But uh, 
if you let me know about how many you're looking for, I'll see what I can get. But um, at this point, it's normally one of those things where sealed collectors are holding onto the boxes and it's not so much available for sale at a lot of stores um, anymore, unfortunately. You'll email me, sounds good. Uh, Wolf Fry says, thanks for the kind words, everyone, and thank you again, Peddler. Thank you for hanging out and uh, supporting the stream, Waffle Fries. Sounds good, Beer Metal. I'll look out for your email, and we can talk about it and see what we can find. Um, other than that, appreciate everybody hanging out with me. We stream on Mondays, Thursdays, 8.30 Eastern Time if you ever want to order packs. Um, off stream and do a YouTube video. Like I said, let me know uh, by email, gmail.com and I'll take care of you. want to appreciate everybody who purchased some packs on the stream tonight. Jeremy, we did open your packs. Um live tonight so hopefully you get a chance to watch this back and uh see what you got i think you got some pretty good stuff so hopefully you are happy with that also want to thank everybody who is here live and ordered packs we had waffle fries live and extreme beer metal purchasing packs so thank you very much to both y'all for supporting the stream also had lots of people hanging out in chat we had chaos nova surfer and ice prophet over on twitch we had extreme beer metal waffle fries emily golan uh, of Golan MTG, Dystopian World Games, stop by MTG, Peddler, Dobby, uh, who else? I think James stopped by for a little bit. Thanks for stopping by, James. Nice to see you in chat. I think I've already said Extreme Beer Metal, but thank you, Extreme Beer Metal. And I think that was about it tonight. So thank you all for hanging out. I will see you on Monday if we don't do a pop up stream before then. Uh,. Have a good night, guys.